Greetings, dearly beloved of God. The best place, the absolute best place for you to meet your husband is found within the Holy Scriptures. In the book of Genesis and chapter 24 and verses 11 to 16, it reads, And he, this is Abraham's servant, made his camels to kneel down without the city by a well of water at the time of the evening, even the time that women go out to draw water. And he said, O Lord God of my master Abraham, I pray thee, send me good speed this day and show kindness unto my master Abraham. Behold, I stand here by the well of water and the daughters of the men of the city come out to draw water. And let it come to pass that the damsel to whom I shall say, let down thy pitcher, I pray thee, that I may drink. And she shall say, drink, and I will give thy camels drink also. Let the same be she that thou hast appointed for thy servant Isaac. And thereby shall I know that thou hast showed kindness unto my master. And it came to pass before he had done speaking, that behold, Rebekah came out, who was born to Bethuel, son of Milcah, the wife of Nahor, Abraham's brother, with her pitcher upon her shoulder. And the damsel was very fair to look upon, a virgin, neither had any man known her. And she went down to the well and filled her pitcher and came up. Also in the book of Genesis, in chapter 29 and verses 1 to 10 it reads then Jacob went on his journey and came into the land of the people of the east and he looked and behold a well in the field and lo there were three flocks of sheep lying by it for out of that well they watered the flocks and a great stone was upon the well's mouth and thither were all the flocks gathered, and they rolled the stone from the well's mouth and watered the sheep, and put the stone again upon the well's mouth in his place. And Jacob said unto them, My brethren, whence be ye? And they said, Of Haran are we. And he said unto them, Know ye Laban, the son of Nahor? And they said, We know him. And he said unto them, Is he well? And they said, He is well. And behold, Rachel his daughter cometh with the sheep. And he said, Lo, it is yet high day, neither is it time that the cattle should be gathered together. Water ye the sheep, and go and feed them. And they said, We cannot until all the flocks be gathered together, until they roll the stone from the well's mouth. Then we watered the sheep. And while he yet spake with them, Rachel came with her father's sheep, for she kept them. And it came to pass when Jacob saw Rachel, the daughter of Laban, his mother's brother, and the sheep of Laban, his mother's bro um, brother, that Jacob went near and rolled the stone from the well's mouth and watered the flock of Laban, his mother's brother. And lastly, in Exodus chapter 2 and verses 15 to 21, it reads, Now when Pharaoh heard this thing, he sought to slay Moses. But Moses fled from the face of Pharaoh and dwelt in the land of Midian, and he sat down by a well. Now the priests of Midian had seven daughters, and they came and drew water. But Moses stood up and helped them and watered their flock. And when they came to Ruel, their father, he said, How is it that you are come so soon today? And, Mo and they said, An Egyptian delivered us out of the hand of the shepherds. And also drew water enough for us and watered the flock. And he said unto his daughters, And where is he? Why is it that you have left the man? Call him that we may eat bread. And Moses was content to dwell with the man. And he gave Moses, Sipporah, his daughter. Praise God. And I shared those three scriptures with you. Those three passages in the Holy Scripture because they all have a recurring theme through them and that is is that these women all got married after being by a well not only were they by a well but they were also all engaging in 
a particular activity and that activity was being about their father's business praise god we see Re Rebecca going down with a picture that picture wouldn't have just been for herself that would have been maybe to feed her father's flocks or, um, or to give water to her father and those within her household we see Rebecca going down with the sheep I believe it was her father's sheep and um, Rachel sorry going down to the well with her father's sheep um we see Zipporah who went down to the well with her father's sheep um, in the Holy Bible, in the book of, I've got this, sorry, in the book of Luke and chapter 2 and verse 49, this is our wonderful, kind, amazing saviour at the tender age of 12, he said, and he said unto them, how is it that you sought me? Was she not that I must be about my father's business? Praise God. This is when his parents were looking for him. So he, at the age of 12, was about his father's business. How much more so you and I, who those watching are probably above the age of 12, but praise God for anyone watching under the age of 12, you're still not too young to be about God's business. Praise God. And his business is souls. He loves souls. He loves men and women to be one, boys and girls for his kingdom. Praise God. Also in the book of Matthew in chapter 6 and verse 33, it reads, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. This is regarding your needs, praise God. And there are lots of us who want a husband, but there comes a time when it actually becomes a need, praise God. And if you are about God's business, if you seek his kingdom first and his righteousness, then he will bless you with a husband, praise God. His business is also you know, going to church, praise God, not forsaking the gathering of the brethren as the manner of some is, that it it reads in the in the holy bible also his business is praying he wants us to pray to him daily <laughs> sorry the bible's getting a bit heavy he, <laughs> he wants us to pray to him, him daily he wants us to study his holy word the holy bible says study the holy word this was paul admonishing timothy that he should study the holy word to show himself approved unto god a workman that needeth not to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth and so we should study god's word in joshua it says meditate on god's word daring day and night then we shall make our way prosperous then we shall be successful praise god his business is also giving alms to the poor even if you just see somebody that's on the street you could offer them something to um, eat go into the supermarket and buy them something to eat or something to drink his business is going to the hospitals and visiting those who are sick and helping praying for them praise god it could be a member of the church and you visit them whilst they're in their sick bed his business is setting the captives free praise god it's speaking to somebody as you are led by our wonderful kind amazing holy spirit and sharing with them the gospel praise god letting them know that god loves them so much that he sent his only begotten son to die for them praise god so that we could have everlasting life praise god and we are not ashamed of the gospel for it is the power unto salvation praise god his business is loving him with your whole heart mind soul and strength his business is loving your neighbor as yourself his business is not walking in unforgiveness if you have any unforgiveness in your heart pray and ask god to take it away from you and forgive your brother his business is growing in the fruits of the spirit in love in joy in peace in faithfulness in goodness in meekness in gentle in humility in long suffering praise god we should be about his business and another um 
scripture I wanted to share in regards to the theme being a, um, them being by a well. In the book of John, in chapter 4 and verses 13 to 14, it reads, Jesus answered and said unto her, Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again. But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. So this well, praise God, it's not now the physical well that Rebecca and 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 Rachel and Sapporah was by when they met their husband. But this well is our Savior, Yeshua Hamashiach, who is Lord of Lords and Kings of Kings, praise God. When we are in him, praise God, then we are always by the well. And it's in him that we will meet our spouse, praise God. We will meet our husband. And that is the best place to meet your husband. There are people who have met their husband and they haven't been they haven't been by the world, they haven't been in him. Because when you are not in our saviour, the enemy, the devil will gladly bring you a husband. And he could be the one that he could be the one that you think that you are praying for. Maybe you you know you have certain desires and you prayed and asked God and brought those desires before you and he meets those desires so you think it's of God. But no, beloved, my dear sister, if you are not in Christ, then anybody who comes, hallelujah, is a counterfeit. Praise God. And so you want to make sure that you are having um that you are marrying praise god that you are marrying isaac praise god and not ishmael because we see that rebecca married isaac but sarah when she went ahead of god she ended up with um another son which wasn't really her son but abraham ended up with another son that wasn't the promised son praise god and so we want to make sure that we are marrying the right person we want to be in our savior praise god we want to be in him so that we are by the well and god in his divine time in his appointed season will kindly bring you to your husband you don't need to go looking for him praise god you don't need to go from church to church to church that is out of the will of god and it's off him to a man of God and your husband doesn't need to go church to church to church looking for you either the holy bible says he who finds a wife finds a good thing but when you look at the original meaning of that hebrew word it also means to stumble upon so your husband could be somewhere he could be you could both just be at a soup kitchen feeding the the hungry and then he looks up and you look up and you're just there in front of each other. He has found you, but he didn't go looking for you. He just like stumbled <laughs> upon you. Praise God. God brought Adam, Eve to Adam and Adam didn't go searching. He just looked up. He woke up one day, looked up and she was there. Praise God. And do you know what is the other recurring theme? The one word that runs throughout all these holy scriptures. And we see within Adam and Eve. We see with Rebecca and Isaac. We see with Rachel and Jacob. We see with Zipporah and Moses. Is that yes, they was about their father's business. They were by the well. They were all in purpose. Praise God. And that's where you want to be. In purpose. Praise God, not just knowing of God, not just being born again, like having a water baptism and then saying, yes, because I've now had a water baptism that I'm that I'm in Christ. You want to be in purpose. There are many, many, many souls who have had a water baptism and they're not in purpose. Praise God. You want to meet your husband when you are in purpose. Praise God. And it could be maybe somebody in the church is having a birthday party and you're there and that's when God brings you to your spouse. You meet each other. Maybe you're visiting the sick in hospital and then 
he goes to a completely different church but somehow he's connect he's related to the person in the hospital and he attends and you both just meet each other there i mean god's timing is so perfect god has a 100 percent um punctual rate praise god his punct punctuality i remember being in school you used to have like an attendance rate and a punctuality rate praise god god has a hundred percent attendance and a hundred percent punctuality he is never late hallelujah praise god even if it doesn't happen when we desired it to he is never late praise god so i encourage you it could be a child is being dedicated praise god and you meet your spouse there it could be somebody's being ordained an elder or an evangelist or a pastor and you meet your spouse there you could just volunteer to clean up the church and you meet your spouse there and when it happens it is so amazing it is so beautiful it's so wonderful and i really want that for you praise god i really want you to be in purpose you don't need to attend those single conferences for 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 christians which are heavy laden with women there's probably like 50 women to one man at those conferences men don't really go to those conferences <laughs> it's mainly women i've been to them in the past and i stopped going because they kept talking about dating a lot and i thought it's not something that i want to do it's not something i've seen in the holy scriptures it's not something i'm going to teach my daughters to do and by me being there i felt like i was agreeing with them and all of my sisters that were there were thinking it that i believed that I, it was okay and I agreed with them um, so that's why I stopped going to them but when I did go there were so many women there and praise God you don't need to go to those conferences to meet your spouse praise God you just need to be in our saviour praise God so you are in the well you are by the well you need to be about a wonderful kind amazing father Yahweh's business and um, praise God be in purpose hallelujah and you will meet your spouse it will be the best place to meet him praise God and uh, it will be wonderful <laughs> praise God <laughs>